Hi, my name is Luke, and for today's Grover, we are going to be learning how to read a good book. The first thing you are going to need for reading a good book is probably a book. If you don't have a book, you might be able to use some form of electronic device, such as a Kindle or a tablet, to read on. I personally love having an actual book, though, to read out of. Now, the next thing you are going to need is a bookmark. If you are reading out of a book, there's no way to keep your page without a bookmark. You could fold your pages, but that's not very nice to the book pages. So, you are going to need any kind of bookmark. Some examples of what you might be able to use as a bookmark are an actual bookmark. You could It could be nice and plastic, it could be anything, or it could be some form of cardboard cutout. It might just be a folded up sticky note. Or it might just be a random sheet of small paper. Using these bookmarks, you're able to keep track of where you are whenever you're reading a good book. Now, the next thing you are going to need is a spot to read. Any spot to read is important because without it, you aren't going to be able to read. Some places you might read a good book are in a corner. Or maybe on a bed or maybe in a chair or someplace nice outside. You can even read on an exercise ball. It's important that wherever you decide to read that you are comfortable so that you can truly enjoy whatever book you are reading. Now, to start actually reading the good book, the first thing you need to do is open up to the first page and just start to read. Once you've done this, you may find that you like reading in small amounts of time or large amounts of time. Either works. You could read for 15 minutes a day, or maybe you'll read for eight hours in one day and not read the rest of the week. It doesn't matter because you're reading a good book and you can do that however you want, but it's really important that you're actually reading because you don't want to forget the whole book because that'd be sad. So when you read, it's good to think about what you read and not just gloss over the words really quickly. Now, thanks for joining me. That's how you read a good book.